So once you get your Samsung Galaxy S5 tomorrow and unbox it, which we have a link to right there, you're probably going to want to explore the fingerprint sensor since it's one of the big uh, features that Samsung is going to highlight again and again with the Galaxy S5. So it does have a fingerprint scanner built right into the home button, in case you weren't familiar. Now, it's not exactly like Apple's where you sort of just set your finger on top of this, the sensor in the home button and it scans it. You actually do have to do a swiping motion, so sort of like the implementations we've seen on other devices, though I would argue this one's much better since it actually involves the home button, which is a place your finger often travels to. So you can see just a quick swipe down. I have it set up as my lock uh, password, if you will, and it registered it and unlocked it one of the first times. Uh, you will get issues if you swipe off to the side. You can see it tells you you're off uh, You're off to the side, need to go over the center. And then once you sort of swipe over the center, it should recognize it, go green and unlock. Uh, I've played with it a little bit and it's been accurate for the most part. It does have some issues. Like you can see right there, it missed. Uh, second time there, it unlocked and it's fairly fast. Uh, to set this up though, you go into settings and in one of the first sections here in quick settings, you'll see finger scanner. So you would just tap on that. And once you're in here, you can set up a few different things like having it as your screen lock. So instead of a, a pin or a swipe or something like that, you can have it do your fingerprint. You can also have it verify your Samsung account every time you download apps or buy apps and things like that. At least I believe that's how it works. And you can also pay with PayPal. So let's just set one up real quick. And it's asking me to verify that I have one already set up here to get in here. So you can see fingerprint one and you can actually register up to three. So let's just register another finger here. This is a little disclaimer saying you know what it does. Uh, if we tap okay though, let's just set up something like my thumb. So a little bit fatter than you know my index finger. And all you do is swipe down and it registers it. And so we'll just keep swiping and swiping. And you can see how many times we have to do this. I believe that's eight different times. So it really tries to learn your fingerprint by doing this over and over and over again. And you can see each time it's registering my thumb, it's not giving me an error or anything. So fingerprint two is now set up. And if we go ahead and go back home to the lock screen where I have that set up and swipe with my thumb, it should work. And sure enough, it did. So that's sort of a basic overview of how this fingerprint scanner works on the new Galaxy S5. Again, we'll, we'll play with the PayPal stuff and uh, the Samsung account stuff, and hopefully we see more implementation there. Uh, but if you guys have questions, comments, whatever, we got more coming. Uh, we're Droid Life, and this is the Galaxy S5. We're out. Peace.